Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. If you love pumpkin spice and you love mugs, you've come to the right place. Today's video is going to be my mug collection showcasing my fall, Halloween, and some Disney villains. I may even have one or two things in here that I painted myself. So if you're ready for the fall season and you're ready to have a cup of joe, stay tuned. I just want to mention quick that I'm currently filming on my old iPhone. The phone that I was using, I recently dropped, and so I had to contact Apple Care to see what I could do about it. Uh, for the most part, the phone is working. I am getting messages, phone calls, and I can pull up a lot of apps, but uh, the lower half of the screen isn't functioning the way that it should, so I might just have to get a new phone or see if I can get this one fixed. Of course, the Apple Care on it has expired, so I'm just going to wait it out and see what happens. In the meantime, time I am still going to upload as many high quality videos to this channel the subscriber rate is going up so welcome all new subscribers and returning subscribers and I just don't want to miss out on the momentum there's lots to see now for the video we're gonna start this video with uh, some morning pumpkin this mug is a Ray Dunn piece and I purchased it last year from a Marshall's I believe it was $9.99 and it keeps the beverage very hot because it is like aluminum or tin. A very nice vibrant orange and let's see what the tag actually says on it right here. It says Ray Dunn insulated stainless steel mug. I've used this once or twice of course but forgot to take that sticker off. How about that? Um, but Ray Dunn I know has a lot of followers and a lot of fans that check out Marshalls, Home Goods, and TJ Maxx. And I don't have many Ray Dunn pieces, but I thought this was cute, so I had to add it to my collection last year. These two have been recently featured on my channel, and they are both Johanna Parker. They are available in stores right now on um, Home Goods, TJ Maxx, and Marshalls. I saw some myself, and I've been watching a lot of channels and these two have made an appearance on a lot of those as well. Um, they come in a box set and I call, think they're called pumpkin peep mugs if I'm not mistaken. This is the boy or the man and uh, has a nice little crow there on the shoulder with lots of painting details. I know Johanna Parker has a lot of wonderful fans and if you follow her on social media you'll see she's always coming up with cool holiday themed things. So really cute set, pardon the uh, train in the background. I'm going to put these aside and you're going to see the back of them here. And the arm kind of makes up the handle which I think is a really nice little detail there. Uh, they also come in like I think mummies, there's a Dracula, a devil, a spider and other ones that are more specific to Halloween. The, uh, this set of course you could use for fall and Halloween. I have them up right now on my accent table for what I call pre-fall. So we're going to turn this lady around and we're going to see the back. I can get my finger out of her polka dotted arm holder. So it kind of reminds me of like my little teapot, the way that they're positioned. But how many of you have uh, some Johanna Parker things? And if you do, do you have any of these mugs? Now let's see what else we got. This mug here is one of my personal favorites and it is double sided. I'm a little closer to the camera just so that the lighting uh, stays all right. And the front says here for the booze and the back says hey boo and it's not just a double-sided mug but uh, once you're done your cup of joe and i did save the tag um, that says to from in case you want to give it as a gift i did buy this last year fyi it reveals a cute little ghost so let's just get our lighting um, so yeah, once you're finished your pumpkin spice, you have this cute little Halloween friend looking at you. And this uh, is made by Whimsical Cupboard by 10 Strawberry Street. I looked uh, at Home Goods this year at the ones I went to, and I didn't see it so far, but keep an eye out. And if you guys did see this, please comment below so other people that might be interested could go out and see if they could find it. Our next mug I also purchased last year from Home Goods, and it is uh, from Portobello by Design. I did feature this last year in a haul video, and yes, I have the tag on it. I did not use it because I just put it out for display. And again, maybe uh, these companies think that people give mugs for gifts, but I wouldn't mind getting a Halloween mug as a gift. So we're gonna adjust our light because we wanna make sure that everything looks good so you guys could see this. And we're gonna go around and look at all of our fun Halloween characters, trick-or-treaters, that make up this mug. 
So I really like the detail on this. This has that vintage look about it. Um, and yeah, just an overall fun mug to have. I'm gonna try to use it this year. And it has a nice trim of bats on the inside, as you see, around the perimeter. And it also has, once you're done your cup of joe, trick or treat on the inside. So I really like that these mugs uh, kind of have a little bonus in them. Um, it's something different and makes the morning special if you're drinking coffee and you know heading out the door to work and all of that. This one I did keep the price tag on and it was $5.99. So overall not bad and really excited to have this one in my collection. These next two mugs I purchased from a seller off of Facebook Marketplace. And this one here is uh, characters from the movie Scooby-Doo and the Ghoul School. It was a, a late 80s film with, of course, Scooby-Doo, Scrappy-Doo, and Shaggy. And it had the uh, daughters of the famous monsters. So a really fun movie, and I try to watch it every Halloween. And, of course, it goes all the way around the mug, so we're just going to try to move this Hopefully the ring light doesn't interfere too much and you guys are getting a good glimpse of this. But I bought this one, very nice colors, and then this one here I purchased and of course it is the Sanderson Sisters. So we're going to get our lighting just right. I know the if it's a very vibrant white it kind of affects the ring lighting, but um, there we go. So of course we have Sarah, Winnie, and Mary. And this one is also double-sided. Um, so yeah, I just put both of these mugs out for display last year, but um, I'm ready to drink out of them this year, and they're really cool to add to my collection. This mug I've had for quite a few years, and it does show signs of wear, just because I think this was made out of a chalkware rather than a standard ceramic, but it is still awesome, and I can easily retouch that with some paint. Um, and it is the Bride of Frankenstein. I did get her uh, quite a few years ago, I believe at Home Goods, and she was made by Connections, is the brand name. And uh, I think that they may have had the Frankenstein to this, and it's confusing because Frankenstein is technically not Frankenstein, that's the doctor. Um, it's Frankenstein's monster, but yet Bride of Frankenstein, it's not called Bride of Frankenstein's monster, it's Bride of Frankenstein. Do any of you know why that is? Uh, maybe comment below and let me know. But yes, this is the Bride of Frankenstein as we know her. And uh, really, really cool colors. She is electric. And I use her, I think I actually use her more than any of the other Halloween mugs I have. So we're just gonna go around a little bit. So there she is, what do we think of her? Every year, Home Goods releases some kitchenware themed after the Disney villain, so we now went through our fall and our standard Halloween style mugs. Now we're going to see some of the Disney villains, and this is going to start off that half of the video. And it's a really cool image of all the villains. Well, not all of them. We have Cruella de Vil, the Evil Queen, Ursula, and then Maleficent. So this is a smaller mug. It's not as big as some of the other ones I have but it is um, a licensed Disney product, and I saw that Home Goods has some really cool villain glasses this year. I didn't see them personally, but I did see them uh, in some videos. So this was purchased last year, and I think it was only like $4.99. I don't have the price tag on it, but um, that's what the bottom kind of looks like. And I can't remember if I use this one or not, but I love the villains and uh, you know, love having baddies here for Halloween, so this is this month. Can you guess who this one is? It says, please, I can only do eight things at once. We have a tentacle there as the handle. So it must be none other than Ursula from The Little Mermaid. This one I purchased a few years ago from the Hallmark store. And I have used this one before, so she's been washed many times. And I don't have the price on it, but maybe she was like $14.99. Uh, they do have a really cool line of villains things from time to time there. And I thought this one was really unique because it has the tentacle as the handle. Um, and yeah, obviously I'm a sucker for mugs. And to have those little details, it definitely gets my attention. And then, of course, I have to add it to my collection. So are you guys big Disney villain fans? If so, what kind of items do you collect? Boom! This mug here represents none other than the Poisoned Apple from Snow White. It is a likeness of, of course, the Poisoned Apple. 
from the film and Disney's actually working on uh, the live action version of Snow White. They wrapped up and now it's in post-production so I'm really excited to see what they do with that story. And this is of course I think from the Disney store. I think I purchased it online one year. Um, it is obviously an officially licensed product and really really cool. I think some years they come out with this and the apple's green or maybe the poison is green. But in this particular version, it's, it's the white ooze kind of over the uh, juicy red apple. So I use this one every Halloween, and I think maybe I've had this one longer than some of the other ones I've had. But uh, how many of you guys collect uh, mugs and Disney mugs? This mug is from the Disney film Oz the Great and Powerful, and it is the likeness of the Wicked Witch of the West. I believe it's Theodora. And Mila Kunis portrayed her, and I really enjoyed that movie, and so when the movie came out, I had to go to the Disney store and buy some of the merchandise, and this is one of them. So it is double-sided, and it has, of course, the Wicked Witch of the West with uh, a ball of flame and a lot of her winged monkeys kind of around in the background. And I have had this one for quite a few years. Last but not least is a mug of Angelina Jolie as Maleficent. I painted this myself when the movie came out in theaters and um, I've had it ever since. So I do have an Etsy shop where I paint portraits of people and animals on glassware. So I specialize in like wine glasses, coffee mugs, ornaments, anything glass or ceramic I can pretty much paint on. So I love painting portraits of people and animals. They make great gifts. I get a lot of uh, wedding portraits, um, especially for the holiday season I get orders. So if you guys are interested in anything uh, for a unique gift, comment below and I'll be happy to give you more information on that and uh, I also want to grow this channel so I have some other fun ideas would you guys like to uh, see a painting tutorial we could maybe do like a Halloween themed uh, image of some sort on a wine glass um, I do teach paint and sips and I also have taught lots of summer camps and things like that so if you guys are interested in that type of video comment below because like I said I want to grow this channel if you're not already a subscriber, please can consider doing so. I have a lot of fun videos planned for this upcoming fall and holiday season. So uh, until we meet next time, be safe and have fun.